Welcome to the Farmer Johnson YouTube channel. Today is going to be days 9, 10, and 11 of our corn and soybean planting season. So far this planting season, we've had some pretty bad luck out of two of our tractors and some really bad luck out of one of our planters. So my only goals for today's episode is number one, to get as many acres as I possibly can planted, and number two, not break anything. That's easier said than done. Today is day nine of planting. Uh, we took yesterday off from planting. I mean, we still worked, but we didn't plant yesterday. Um, we worked around in the shop because we got rained out um, two days ago. We found some dry dirt, we think. Um, we think it's dry. We're coming to check it out. Uh, well, not check it out. We've already came and checked it out. The speed disc at least one of them has been rolling, kind of airing it out because it is a little bit heavy. So they're airing out the corn stalks for us. And then uh, we'll come up here in a couple hours and maybe try to plant. Colby and one of the 620s and the other speed disc has been up here. He's right there. He's been up here rolling for a while. Tate is in the new 500, the AFS Connect 500 tire machine. And he just just got up here with a speed disc but i'm gonna kick him out of the way for a little bit and i'm gonna run it just because i've never ran a pro 1200 so i want to see what this thing's all about about to pull out of the field we, it is 4.47 right now. We got like a 36 or pretty pretty daggone close to 40 mile move. Um, it's gonna be a long drive, but we found dry ground, so we're gonna go plant. This that we are on the other night is very wet. Very wet. This is by far the most highly populated area we farm in, so. Holy smokes! That was a long drive. That was a long drive. We did it at the perfect time in the day. Uh, it was right during rush hour traffic, so the two hour drive turned into like two and a half, almost three hours. It was rough. But we're here now. We're here now. We'll hop out, uh, check the tractor over, make sure all, all of our tires are good after such a long move. Um, check the tracks, make sure they're not hot or doing anything stupid. And then uh, we'll go ahead and fill with seed. I'm pretty close to empty with seed, um, which worked out really nice. We don't like moving this far, clear full on seed, just in case something does happen. But um, when we got rained out, luckily I was pretty empty on seed. So uh, we were able to just roll up here. Uh, they did come up here and work this ground. You guys saw saw the speed disc at least. Uh, you saw it rolling. So pretty nice finish, looking pretty daggone good. It was uh, really heavy this morning when I come to check it out. So they've been up here since uh, 10 o'clock or so. Pretty good. There's some heat not bad i have noticed this year the corn stalks doing a little damage to the tracks uh just no telling all the all the acres we have tires look good shape while we got 
three of these like tractor tread, tread tires and one of these is because we were going through these tires like crazy and uh dad called our tire place up and tried to order a couple of them and they couldn't get any of these in but they could get these in and uh it's a little bit smaller of a tire if you look just barely shorter it's it's hard to show it with the camera but it is shorter a little bit shorter but it doesn't really matter because it is on a walking tandem so i don't know what it is about those tires but we keep having cords busting them they'll bust and then you'll have a big bubble in them which i showed in the last video this planter is pretty slick because i can go in here and just activate the center section and I can lower just the center section down and then not as low enough to fill Crossing, I mean, I get hill climbing. I don't, I don't know what you consider it, but the nice thing about this farm is it, if it is it's like 15 fields and you gotta go through sketchy crossings all the way back. I was running that 500 earlier. Uh, it's a mean tractor, very mean tractor, but it's definitely not a 620. It's 110% not a 620. I didn't realize how much of a difference you would actually be able to feel, but uh, it's very noticeable. It's not a 620, it's, it's like 120 less horsepower.
we're, we're deafing up. The morning of, uh, I think this is plant number day 10. Uh, just about done with corn planting. They've been running like crazy. Uh, of course, it goes pretty fast when you got 360 footers. So they're rolling on uh, bean planting. Uh, I don't know how much we got left, but we're not too far behind them. So hopefully we'll be finished up here and within the next couple days and we can get on to side dressing some corn and spreading fertilizer. And got done where we're at. Heading to lunch here. Kind of caught up to the tillage crew, eh? I don't know what's for lunch today, but um, Mamo Jenny's cooking, so it's bound to be awesome. Right, back from lunch. Uh, today's lunch was roast potatoes, macaroni and cheese, uh, baked beans, um, cornbread. I feel like there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Angel food cake for dessert. I know that. Are we just doing donuts around me now? Is that what we're doing here? Nice. Got some riders. It won't shift! My tractor won't shift. What else could possibly break? Yep, here we are. Moving down the road. I really don't know what was going on with my planter there. Uh, pulled out on the road. Well, now my planter, that was working fine. But the tractor, I don't know what was going on with it. I pulled out on the road and uh, started slamming gears and or pu pushing the button to slam gears and we weren't slamming gears so i was going to call dad to come fix it but it fixed itself so that problem won't, won't be a problem ever again i was sarcastic it'll probably be a problem at a later date if i had to guess out here planting, minding my own business, not doing nothing to nobody. And uh, I look down and I see, I see this. Uh, if you're not familiar with what this would be, this is a gauge wheel for a Case IH 2160 early riser planter, which is really weird because I don't know who would have lost this. So the original way that these gauge wheels are supposed to be held on was with a cotter key. But we kept wearing the cotter key out and breaking it, and then we were losing gauge wheels all the time. So we put bolts through them with locking nuts, and that's worked really well. So I know I got several of those bolts in our seat truck, but our seat truck is nowhere around here. So I'm thinking, how can I get this gauge wheel on and get by well enough to run? But apparently, I am carrying all the right parts in my tractor. Who would have thought? Yeah, you probably can't hear because someone left the vacuum on, but it's not exactly the right parts, but they should get me by until it falls off again. It's supposed to be a little bit heavy duty, more heavier duty or cotter fit, but that one will hold until it won't. So I guess we'll run. The average Joe probably wouldn't have noticed that they lost that gate. But see, I seen this streak across the field, and I only left this streak on half of this 50 acres. So I only ran for like 25 acres before I realized I was missing a gate. And I found it, so I'm not your average operator. So, oh, I think they're down to like 400 acres of corn to plant, so not much, and uh, we're down to like 
uh, maybe just shy, right around the thousand acre mark on beans plant. So um, they're calling for rain tomorrow, which is Friday, and pretty much every single day next week they're calling for rain. So. We, we, we ran pretty stupid last night. Um, I got to bed at 3 o'clock. Back up at 7. So we're feeling great. We're ready to roll. We'll probably run pretty stupid tonight too. Uh, just because, you know, rain hits tomorrow. I'd like to have as much done as we possibly can. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel in uh, a couple hours. It's only like 9.30 right now. I probably had to swing through town in the planter and pick up some Taco Bell or something like that to run all night. Today is, I think it's the 10th or 11th day of plant. I'm kind of losing count. But uh, they're calling for rain today. Um, and I'd like the, the net, for the next 10 days, they're calling for rain. So it's not looking good. But uh, we got about a day and a half of planting beans left and they should finish up planting corn today um i got charlie with me he's got a graphite mustache i don't know how he ended up with that you got anything to tell the viewers what yeah. well tell them something oh okay You crashed your bike. Yep, there you heard it there, folks. So, his mom, my wife, is cooking today. Um, so he is helping her out cooking by getting out of the house, right? The other day we did like a 40 mile move, pretty close to it, it was like 36 miles. So, um, and then today we'll probably have a good 20 mile move more somewhere in there so gotta rush all over the countryside here so you can see right back there uh, that all used to be cornfield now they've turned it into a big old solar field um, it's not very easy on the eyes I tell ya pretty rough seeing prime farm ground go to solar but you know Anything to save the environment. You know how much pollution them cornfields pump out. I pulled over to, oh, they're passing them. Never mind. I was gonna say, I just pulled over to let all these cars pass. And uh, they weren't passing. They were just sitting here staring at me. I'm not a total jerk face. I try to let cars pass me when it's safe. And they're not gonna try to run me off the road. But this is a pretty decent straight stretch. So, got over a little bit, we'll let them pass. Oh my gosh. And there's the last one. It's not the easiest to get over and let people pass. As you can see, we got a heck of a ditch over there. Not much of a berm. So, if you meet another tractor here, you're uh, kind of screwed. So, in no way am I bragging at all because it wasn't very fun, but I just got my first row of in rows done. Um, I've been here for about an hour, and that's what they look like. So, yeah. Bad news, we got rained out. Um, we did get this farm finished. We went and ran in the, the rain there for a second. Had a couple passes left. But we got it done. Uh, we're gonna fold up and I guess go get some ice cream right now. So. These red planters, we run them off of the Precision Ag 2020 monitor. Um, so, 
all the frame stuff gets run on the Pro 700. All of our uh, row shutoffs and uh, our, our coverage map gets run on the 2020 here. Um, as you can see by my messed up map, I started having problems with my 2020 and Pro 700. It was kind of like, it seemed like to me, I don't know what this means, number one, but it kind of seemed like my Pro 700 was trying to take back control of the row units back there because this randomly started painting where it's not normally doing that. And then my 2020 started acting goofy. So when I would raise on my ends, it wouldn't stop putting seat down. It would just keep putting seat down. So I selected a new map. That's why I don't show the rest of the field because everything else is done. But I selected a new field to see if that helped on both of them. That didn't help. Um, I tried the old turning it off. That didn't work. I hit the kill switch to the batteries. That didn't help. So I don't know what I have going on. And then now I got this random thing here. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it's not awesome. It was planting. We were putting seeds in the ground. Just if I, if I raised my planter, it wouldn't stop putting seeds out. So that's definitely a problem, but we got the last couple passes in the field done. So I don't know, maybe, maybe if I shut this tractor off long enough, come back tomorrow, it'll, it'll be working right. Surprisingly enough, these two are not brothers. <laughs> yeah, this is my sister. Sisters. <laughs> if you guys want to see more videos like this one, you can check out my uh, Planting 2024 uh, playlist right here. Um, it's got all of our breakdowns, cool stuff in there, big equipment. So I hope you guys like this video. We'll see you in the next one.